So let's go ahead and equip my stuff while I'm at it. I'm gonna equip the Highland Shield really quickly. Okay, kill these, of course. Get our, uh, get our equipment while we're at it. Bombs, boomerang, and our slingshot. Our primary free weapons. There is no way to take out these guys unless you have bombs. Take that. There we go. I'm trying to target them. There we go. Just like that. So now that's done, let's go enter this way. Stop itching! Alright, let me equip my, uh... You know what? Let me demonstrate this. I think this is a perfect time to demonstrate it. But this is Nairu's love. Here's how it's capable of doing. You clipped it on, and then you get a defensive shield, and now you're completely protected. And you won't take any damage with it. And now we gotta fight the Stalfos. You could also use your back shield. Of course, eventually they will die. And there we go. Dead. Like that. Shoot it with your slingshot, like that. And then the next thing, of course, you do is you throw the ring here, go the opposite direction, and then hit the crystal switch, which, of course, will activate a bridge allowing you to cross. Watch out! There we go. Possess pottery, once again. Again, never bloopy. Enter this next room. And this is where we have this little in predicament right here. First thing foremost, I'm gonna go ahead and clear this path so that way we won't have to worry about it. And if you activate your sword, he will breathe fire at you. But you get yourself over here, then you go ahead and shoot this crystal switch. Fire is their only weakness. So make sure you use advantage of it. Stop itching! Oh my god, my nose is so itchy today. Make sure to, of course, avoid the tra avoid the spike trap, so that way you won't have to worry about it. Watch out for shadow monsters hanging from the ceiling. Okay, Navi. As you enter this next room, better watch out because there is a wall master about to like grab you, and again, if you don't avoid it. Then, uh, if you don't avoid it, he will take you all the way to the back at the beginning of the dungeon. That's no good. Your goal here is that you need to go ahead and grab all of these, uh, crystal uh, crystal, um, how do we call it? Crystal rubies. These silver rubies. As you pick up these silver rubies, you will, um, you will eventually be able to, um, exit this room, of course. And don't worry about the keys, they can't hurt you. I wasn't expecting to actually fall, but whatevs. Oh. Two keys, one boomerang. Not bad. And there's a gold sculpture over here. You're gonna have to use your boomerang to, of course, get the token. Next thing's next, we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves our Deku Sticks, so that way we can go ahead and light this torch. I'm so mad at my nose. Won't stop itching. Light both these torches. You will, of course, get yourself a little treasure chest, and if you open it, it will give you, of course, a small key, which allows you to make access further into this dungeon. So now that you have the small key in hand, we're ready to move on forward.
So now you go ahead and enter this little crawl space. And once you do that, you'll be able to see yourself a locked door on the other side. There's also crates on the side, too, if you can attack them to get, like, special items out of it. If you want to, of course. Once you're done, enter into the small thing. And, um, enter in this next room. Where we get to, of course, battle some, of course, some gold sculptulas. Well, not gold sculptulas, but regular sculptulas. And I recommend you shooting your slingshot in order to get them all, of course. Once you climb up... You must uh, immediately do it for 360, and then of course um, get the gold sculpture that is hanging onto this wall over here. Once you got that, you enter the next room. Uh, I think some certain corners will spawn without those. So do be extra careful when fighting these without those. But they ain't too bad. There's only two of them. Got him. Get some magic out of them. Next thing you must do is you must grab yourself some bombs. And then you must throw the bomb at this Skulltula, which of course activate this little light. that will open up the door for you. Another thing you must also do is, of course, shoot at this crystal switch. It will drop two treasure chests. Um, I think one of them's a key. Either that, or they're most likely just, like, collectible stuff, but you never know. Nope. But, uh, if you do cr shoot at these, they'll give you bomb chew, so that way you can use that as a separate solution to, um, solve this puzzle. Now here we are in the main room. This is the main room of the dungeon, but anyways, you push this, uh, crystal, uh, you push this, um, this statue. Before we leave, though, there's one more thing we're gonna do. We're gonna use Din's Fire so that we can light both these torches. And it will spawn a big chest in the middle of a room. You open up, of course, the chest. And it'll give you the dungeon, and you'll give you the dungeon uh, map. It'll give you the dungeon map, so that way you'll be able to uh, investigate around this dungeon, of course. So now you climb up. And uh, there's nothing else I can do right now. We're gonna have to come back later. Enter into this next room. And here we got ourselves another puzzle here. So first things foremost, what we're gonna do... Let me go grab my, uh... Grab my things, uh, Yeah, that. Okay. First thing foremost, take care of the BMOs if you want to make it somewhat easier on yourself. Take out the BMOs. I think there's only three, so it ain't too bad. So, once that's done, you must go ahead and take these small blocks and go ahead and block off most of the spike traps that are in this room. I'm gonna speed up this process. Okay, so now this is all done, we're ready to move on to the next part of the puzzle. So, next thing you must do, is you must get all the silver rubies that are in this room. I'm being a little bit scared a little bit. Okay, so you get the first silver ruby. Get the second one, climb up here. Get this one. And you go and get this one. And 
And then uh, you go over here, and of course get this silver ruby. And that will light up the torch, so now we can do the next step of the puzzle. Grab this, turn around, and you have to light all the torches. There's a torch here, torch there, and then there's a torch over here. If you do that, you will open, you will spawn a treasure chest, which is um, over here. If you open it, you will get a small key. Now that's done. There's one more thing we gotta do in this room. And of course what it is, is to pull the sunblock all the way back. And we have to aim it towards the light. Flashed. Now we go ahead and move on to the next area. Before you make forward, you gotta have to make sure you get this gold skull chill, which is hanging on the top of the door. You can easily miss it if you are not paying attention. As you enter this next room, you start to fight off a, uh, a mini-boss. Which is a gigantic iron knuckle. Now be careful. He does pack a punch. Try to take your time with it. Recommend, like, you backflip. Jump attack, backflip. That's why I recommend it. He's also filled with armor, so he's, that's why he's probably moving really slow. And Deku Sticks we also deal a lot. I did not mean to bring a Deku Stick, but I did. Ow. Yeah, once you take off part of his armor, he'll now be able to run at you. We both took each other out at the same time. gonna push A. No, okay. Pushing A did nothing. It is what it is. But yeah, once you get the meat boss, you go ahead and leave the dungeon from a completely different way and meet up that god forsaking annoying hour Kagora gave fucking Bora. <sighs> hey, what's up, Link? Surprised to see me? No, I'm not. A long time in this world is almost nothing to you, is it? How mysterious. Even though I fought the tales of a boy who could travel back and fall through time was merely a legend. Link, you have fully matured as an adult. From now on, the future of all people in Hyrule is on your, so on your shoulders. Maybe it's not my time anymore. Here is my last advice. Two witches inhabit this temple in order to destroy them. Turn their magic, uh, turn their own magic power against them. Hoot hoot. Do you want to hear what I said again? Default is set to yes. You have to tap no, and then you have to tap a. I will continue to watch over you. Hoot hoot. How about you just stop watching over me? I can do my own thing. I'm not a kid anymore. I've become full adult. That's literally true because I have a master sword. Anyway, so you open up this treasure chest, we'll get you the dungeon item, which is the silver gauntlets. If you wore them, you would feel power in your arms, the power uh, to lift with big things with A. But these gauntlets won't fit as a kid, plus, you promised to give them to Naboru. You should keep your word. And then some mysterious shit is starting to happen. Hey, where are you taking me? Yeah, let me go! Oh no! You, you fiends, Gandorf's minions! 
Link, get out of here now! These witches, they're using their black magic on me! Oh boy. Pretty serious. Pretty insane. Sorry about that, I'm just trying to get something all set. But yeah, um, so at this point, we're pretty much done with the child side. Give me a moment, guys, I'm doing something. Okay, so now let's go ahead and play our song, The Prelude of Light. And we're gonna finally come back here as Adult Link. Because now that we have the Silver Gauntlets, we can actually use these to finally progress farther into this dungeon. We're unable to do the entire dungeon in one go, so pretty much recommended to, uh, pretty much do it once we come back here. So, let's go ahead and finally pull up the Master Sword, and as what K. Gorgibar says, I am going to be fully matured as an adult. That's what he said. And we're not turning back afterwards at all for a long time. But that's fine. Alright, so as we transform as an adult, you may start to notice that, um... Link has silver gauntlets around his arms. Uh, trying to put my Master Sword and everything else away. As you can see here, he has some silver on his arms. That's pretty snazzy. Anyways, let's go ahead and finally go ahead and... No, not that one. Let's finally go back to, of course, the, um, the Spirit Temple. And this time, now that we're Adult Link, we should be able to do a lot more. But, if you remember earlier, we planted a bean soil, which allows us to do another thing, and we're gonna do that thing really- well, actually, it's two more things, and I have to do one of these things before it becomes daytime. I'll probably barely make it. We're gonna get on this. Let's circle around. We're gonna drop here. This is where, basically, a Never Gold Skulltula is in the Desert Colossus area. Click that, and that'll be our 90... Our 97th Skulltula, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's our 97th. I'll double check it just to make sure. Yeah, our 97th Skulltula. Use the Bean Soil again, because there's one more thing we're here for as well. So, you take this, of course, this gigantic leaf to circle around the entire area. And, of course, once you do so, you will get yourself the last piece of heart of this entire game. So, we have collected every single heart piece in the entire game. All that's left is one more heart container, which we can get after beating the Spirit Temple. And then, we are at full HP. We're at the max it could possibly be. Let's go ahead and do the Spirit Temple final.